I call this story A Scarcity of Gazelles. Danny Ryan was my best friend when we were growing up in the small town of Wycliffe on the extreme western tip of Kentucky where the Ohio River flows into the Mississippi River. Danny's friend, Bill Ryan, ran the Standard Oil Filling Station, where many of the town's characters gathered to outdo each other in telling stories. It was an unofficial competition, and a lot of great stories and creative expressions came from that. Bill was one of the best at coming up with short, very funny statements to make a point in such a way as to etch them indelibly on my young brain. For example, they were talking about how poor, how broke they were, and Bill came up with the line, well, if turkey was selling for a nickel a pound, I couldn't kiss a hummingbird's ass. But on this particular occasion, Danny and I were no longer children. Danny was going through a period of acquiring some level of sophistication, something we might call putting on airs. Sophistication for Danny at the time included the purchase of an Afghan hound, a beautiful, sleek, long-haired dog you probably see more often in dog shows than in dog houses. Son, Bill told Danny, I just can't understand why you would go out and buy something as useless as an Afghan hound when you could have bought a Chesapeake Bay Retriever or a lab that you could take duck hunting. But Dad... Danny defended, Afghans aren't useless. Why, they use them in Africa to hunt gazelles. And Bill growled at him, well, son, that's wonderful. But sometimes I go two, maybe three days and not see a gazelle. <laughs>